Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Life of Wonders. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Polo, and I love making videos of Toll Stories and Disney collectibles. So, as I always say, if you like this kind of content and you'd like to support the channel, I invite you all to subscribe to it. It's completely free. And that way you won't be missing out on any of my future videos and it will help a lot to have your support there. So today we're going to finally be unboxing and reviewing in detail this historical um, release of dolls. Um, these are the Bratz, uh, Nevra and Roxy, Queer Liberation, uh, Pride, um, doll set and it's very important because i believe this is the first um doll set that has been announced um and promoted as the very same uh, very first same-sex couple in doll form so that is that is super cool and that is just a step forward uh for all of us uh within the uh doll community uh, or doll collection community uh, because this representation and inclusivity it's just like must it's a must it's necessary it's compulsory it's like something that needs to be updated and uh, much more um, you know uh, referenced um, as as it's a it's a large part of our uh, society um, that um, is definitely included in the LGBTQ plus community. Um, so here we have that. I recently reviewed the Laverne Cox, which is the, this, the first trans woman uh, in doll form. And then Mattel also released this can uh, a few years ago, uh, the 1959 BMR with, you know, the makeup on. And all these things are really, really, really a step forward uh, for all of us. So I truly appreciate it. And I just I couldn't be happy to have this in my collection just now, especially, I mean, they look gorgeous. I mean, I, I actually love everything about them. They're very loud. They're very, um, extravagant, but that's all about it. I mean, this isn't like, um, called the LG. BTQ plus release or the lesbian doll release or any it's the queer liberation and, and the queer culture it's also about expressing yourself and just um finding validation in all sorts of um uh, expression and that is just so amazing so there are people who's uh been complaining so much about how loud or how um bright or you know um heavy um these dolls are but it's just simply about that so i i did i just don't get it um i personally love every single detail of it we have a same sex um doll couple here which is formed by two girls um and I hope that in the future we can also get two guys because I find that just, you know, um, putting two girls in this spot, it's always so much easier as, not that I'm complaining, but, you know, within the established uh, patriarchy and all that, it's something that it's been a little bit... Um, a little bit of a fetish as well for heterosexual men uh, to have two girls, you know, having and sharing um, sex appeal and all those things. And with guys, it's always a little bit more difficult and a little bit more risky and shocking for um, the general public. So I really hope that in the future we can get that as well, but with guys. So anyway, this is the package and the package is just super beautiful. It's a work of art on its own. Uh, it's been designed, um, the whole thing by Jimmy Paul, um, who's referenced here. Uh, we can see the Bratz logo right over there and all these like 70s inspired patterns that are like again um, super colorful, super bright, super celebrative and I love it. The, the box is 
one of the best displaying box I've ever seen really just so so beautiful I was lucky enough to get these on a physical store and I tried to pick the ones that look the best especially the makeup was slightly different um, in the three that the um, were available in that toy shop and I bought them a while ago but seriously I haven't had time I'm like doing my full-time studying plus Plus my work schedule plus all those things so I'm trying to share as much as I can every single day really so that's why uh, your support is kind of important because I'm dedicated I'm fully dedicated to this because this is another one of my passions and a very important one actually so here it says um, eight for ages 14 and up which is something I don't quite like if it's like to reference that this is for collectors that's okay but I mean I don't know because so many people have said that maybe this is because um, there is a bottle of champagne um, over there and that's quite possibly why but I don't get it because at the age of 14 you shouldn't even be drinking champagne anyway I mean it's not legal in, in most countries so um, I guess that reference is it to be for collectors but at the same time if they had skipped this I think they should they would have been even a step forward because I think that the sooner this is exposed and shared and appreciated um, for uh, you know children of all ages the higher of the impact of um, queer liberation acceptance and all that so yeah I mean that that those are my thoughts and here you can practically see everything so Roxy and Nevera they're just wearing um super amazing clothes um uh, clothing uh pieces that I will dismantle them and I will use on my brats um just all around and now I will show you something that's very important um so she's holding a little um a little cupboard that says ah I can't even think straight which is hilarious and um, and where do I start um, and then over here uh, there is another one that says queer and unapologetic and that's super cool and then uh, they come with lots of accessories like a fan um, an amplifier, um, a bottle, a classic bottle of water, a bottle of champagne, a her accessories two glasses um etc etc and so this is like the front but if we turned it over um we will find uh this beautiful artwork of both uh roxy and nevera and i always love these i wish um they had uh included a poster of them because i would have definitely hanged it somewhere um but anyway uh we have this um i will be taking a high uh, quality picture and maybe i will be uploading that to my instagram as well so maybe you can just like um yeah uh screenshot and print out uh in a nice quality paper um and so we have this beautiful design and right over here we can read roxy and navra are stepping out and coming out at the stylesville's pride rally these girlfriends with passion for fashion are fighting for and celebrating love in all forms and this is super important that is said in such way because sometimes is um sometimes by the general you know by the society all this is a, um, addressed as sexual preference and i don't think um it's about sexual preference of course um you know and i'm not going to i i don't think <laughs> i don't know i'm just going to to talk straight um honest um of course there's sexual intercourse in all sorts of li liking um from you know all different sorts uh but i think the most important thing is about recognizing love because again it's not uh just a sexual preference it's about having the ability to love someone else despite its gender or how um 
a um this per this other person uh feels towards um him or herself so that the, the fact that they've uh, uh they they've addressed it um as that is very cute and very very important because it's always about love and i think that the 70s um sort of like inspiration here um it's a direct um claim for love so the the really nice thing about this packaging is that this opens in such way um that it becomes like a stage uh sort of as you can see and and so you can turn around the um um, the inner box and then have them displayed in this super loud super beautiful and colorful and bright and you know uh, celebrative sort of like stage uh, or you know stage podium whatever um, and you can actually fit a few more um, this would be a really nice uh, box to have displayed a lot of your uh, brats dolls because you can include uh, Roxy and Nevra inside and then alongside all your favorite ones just like uh, hanging next to them so that is pretty awesome uh, you guys I, I I'm so so in love uh, so basically that's everything that we can see oh and um, right over here we can see that the pattern continues and there is a little handle that is actually made out of fabric um, so yeah I mean um, this is everything that we can appreciate with them in box and now I will proceed to take them out and just show you uh, all their details. Wow, and here we have everything out of the box and I am just living. I love this set so, so much. Um, I think it's one of the best doll sets I've collected in a very very long time really i mean it's just so much better in person and the meaning of it is just so important that um it makes it incredibly special and i'm almost like emotional here uh just seeing uh so much inclusivity and representation on these two dolls um it's overwhelming really um in the best possible way so um as you can see we are given two stunts um that have these embedded uh rainbow uh glitter all around they are exactly the same stand for each one and then um in the place right at the bottom where the two stands were placed um we have the certificate of authenticity and it comes in this sturdy um envelope which is super cool super cool um and then we just move to the dolls um so where should i start oh my goodness i don't know probably the accessories that i have not taken out as such i think i will definitely for pictures and everything but right now i just wanted to keep them like this um they look so amazing and wow so we have a little fan in the shape of a heart a megaphone and a little brad's uh water bottle um that it takes us to you know um the early 2000s um which is so cool and then on this side over here we have a champagne bottle uh, with a pride flag and then two champagne flutes and then we have two herb clips and three bracelets and those colors um, actually represent the bisexual flag which is crazy amazing um and then the other two things that came with the dolls are these uh two signs uh so they are like um uh, cutouts and you have to be careful because they are stuck onto these plastics so what i did is like cut the plastic all around so i wouldn't damage it this one it, it reflects the light um with the rainbow uh pattern which is so crazy um so crazy cool so and it says ah i can't even think straight where do i even start <laughs> and then this one here that says queer and unapologetic amazing amazing so okay we will start with roxy on this side um 
I don't remember right now where uh, the bag was placed, but anyway, we have this amazing uh, bag um, with the shape of a disco ball. Um, it's completely reflective and it's really nice. I don't think it opens even though you can see a partition there in the middle. I think it's just one solid piece though, but it's just so cool and amazing. Um, so that's the bag. And then moving on to the door herself. I mean, these dolls are super cool because they have the um, collector articulated body, uh, which give us, um, uh, more articulation for around the elbow and the wrist i mean if we compare um that with the first brad's releases um so here we have roxy i was incredibly lucky because i think that their screening their faces are just perfection i don't know um i can see anything um out of place for them they look so so cute i love the screening i love the glitter um as the eyeshadow um her beauty mark um the lips everything is just so so perfect and then she comes Oh, both of them come with extremely long hair, so her hair goes all the way down, and one thing that is just super cool is that on the inside of it, um, there are um, different color strings that represent the lesbian pride uh, flag. And that is just super amazing. And then both of them have the pride flag. Um, Roxy is wearing like um, this super long boa um, that is all fluffy and it has all the colors. And this actually makes me think so much of the one of the, I believe it was, uh, was it Barbie Extra number one? Probably. <laughs> I don't know, but it reminds me a little bit. Um, anyway, but this these two pieces are just so incredible but i think that every single piece within this set so uh for roxy we have this uh baseball cup um that is actually made out of material and then the visor is plastic but the level of details um is just amazing so it has is uh these stats spikes uh on the top and then uh on the bottom part you can see that they've reproduced like, um, well, what is supposed to look like uh, if you encounter these stats. And then it looks like someone uh, actually hand uh, wrote Roxy Hard Nevra and then a few stars. And that is just so cool. And then on this side over here, we find the Lesbian Pride flag uh, button and a girl power one. So cool. I mean, so cool. It's just like every uh, millimeter has a lot of information and a lot of greatness here in it. Um, and then she has this three pieces outfit. It's almost like a pleather material. And so there's this uh, like a biker jacket with the print of the iconic lips, uh, Brad's lips all around. Um, and then it has this faux zipper and then it velcros here and you can open it and then when you open it you find this super cool Jimmy Paul uh, shirt that has a little um, ribbon at, around um, her waist um, and then you can velcro it back and then um, the skirt is the same material, so it's pleated a little bit like that. And then we have this belt with all the letters of um, the, you know, <laughs> brats. Um, and it's plastic, um, but it's chromatic and it really looks like metal. And it's just super, super duper cool. And then right over here, we find the progress in uh, transgender uh, flag in the shape of a heart button. That is just so, so cool cool as well and then going down she's wearing these high neck uh sorry high knee socks uh with the lesbian pride flag and then she has these combat boots in pink with uh these um glitter uh bands that go doing that pattern like that and 
I love her. I love her so so much. She's just so amazing, you guys. And then we move um onto the next one, which is Nefra. And I mean, if this was great, I think this is magnificent. I mean, both of them are magnificent, really. Like, what am I saying? Um, this is just historical, you guys. It's just so so cool. It's just so amazing. Um, to have. I mean, I know that the price is a little bit high, but I think that for what we're getting, when we compare it with other dolls right now in the market, I don't think they're expensive at all. I mean, because we get a lot of things and everything is very, very high standard. Um, so even if we were to compare it with the Rainbow High Deluxe, uh, like Ainsley or um, a collector Monster High, or I think this is so so much worth it uh when compared to other prices right now so she has uh, this i mean real weaker um sort of like texture it's like a real straw hat uh that has the um the the band all around and it, i think it's pinned right there and the fact that it's just like the construction is like a real one, it's very, very overwhelming. Her face is so amazing, you guys. I absolutely love it. Um, I love it. That's why I was saying I think I've been very, very lucky because the screening of the faces, the colors, everything is right um, on its place and so cool looking so it has this metallic lip gloss the eyeshadow that again is representing all these um the little earrings that have the female um uh, symbol in um uh translucent pink and a tiny bit of glitter and then on the inside of the hat we find three little buttons so again the representation here is just so amazing so this is like the uh gender fluid uh pride flag the um, non-binary pride flag and intersex and the fact that they've in uh the fact that they've included here I mean, I, it's a very tiny detail, but it's just so cool that, again, there is a lot of representation. So, obviously, Megara, uh, sorry, Megara, <laughs> uh, Roxy and Nebra. <laughs> okay, well, maybe Megara uh, might be supportive of LGBTQ+, um, as well. Who knows? Uh, we might know in the future. Um but okay so i believe that roxy uh resonates with the lesbian side and then never resonates with the bisexual uh but then they've also incorporated the transgender the um non-binary um everything basically so that is just super duper cool and then this code this code is everything i know it might feel like too much uh because it's it's making me feel hot just by looking at it but the construction is perfection it's lying on the inside it's super soft it's it's amazing it's really amazing so everything it's like an iconic piece i think that these two pieces with the iconic um print of the lips is just so so cute uh but then we get this code and then she has that top there with the design of jimmy paul as well and then we have these uh trousers that are that have the like denim um and have the famous bell shape at the end and in here um we have this print um in which they've incorporated all the core girls that we all you know uh, think instantly when we uh think about when we think uh of brats uh so we have the four core girls here represented um and it's just so cool so jade uh chloe jasmine um amazing amazing and then for the shoes um they've given her these amazing uh platform shoes that are the progress 
pride flag incorporating all the different colors and then the little triangle that is like uh, crossing the flag and then it's also like in the shape of a heart so seriously how cute is that you guys it's just so amazing it looks so cool so amazing um and then here is the little uh belt that has like little gems as part of it and then if we were to look um on the back of the trousers we find the print of the iconic lips as well and then the stars and the pattern continues with the stars all around and then she has massive massive hair i mean it's just like overwhelming as well it's super soft same as i think that the hair quality is really cool so as it's a lot of hair it might be a little bit overwhelming but it's just so cool that it goes all the way down it's curly wavy um i don't know super soft so it's like a fantasy it's like a totally hair um in a way and uh i can see different shades of brown here as well so yeah um so cool so amazing so incredible they're holding hands of course they are together in these um and I couldn't be happier to have them as part of my collection because once again, it isn't just an incredibly beautiful set, uh, super detailed and super high quality, but it's also a historical one and one that is just charged uh, with the best positive vibes ever with all this diversity, inclusion, representation, queer liberation uh, themed amazing so 10 out of 10 if not more <laughs> so i hope you've enjoyed this review and if you have don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um remember i have so much more to share and i will be doing so almost every day so i would definitely stay tuned um for now i hope you all stay safe and i'll see you all very very soon bye bye